Welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on Henry VIII and today we get to hear from Cardinal Wolsey in Act 2, Scene 4. So Act 2, Scene 4 is the beginnings of Queen Catherine's trial. It's, it's a divorce court hearing, essentially is what it is, more so than a, an actual trial. And yesterday we got to see the, the beginnings of it where she sort of goes off script and instead of following all the proper procedure, she makes a plea to the king himself saying, what did I do? We've been married for 20 years. What did I do? I've always been obedient and kind and done what you wanted and I've been a good wife and I don't know why you want to get rid of me now. Like, what did I do? And um, she, she reminds him that a bunch of people prior to their getting married got together and debated the validity of the marriage since she had been married to his brother previously, but she claimed that that marriage was never consummated. And that this whole group of people said that it was fine for them to get married. So she's like, let me go back to Spain and get counsel from my, from my people to, to know what to do here. And Cardinal Wolsey jumps in. He's like, hmm, yeah, no, that's, that's not necessary. We've got Cardinal Campius here, who's going to be your one and only judge and Cardinal Campy is like, yep, that's what I'm here for. And she's like, I hate you, Wolsey. I hate you. I hate you so much. The f the flame, flaming flames, flames on the sides of my face. Um, and he responds to her little tirade saying how much she hates him and mistrusts him by saying, I do profess you speak not like yourself. Whoever yet have stood to charity and displayed the effects of gen disposition gentle and of wisdom or topping woman's power. Madam, you do me wrong. I have no spleen against you, nor injustice for you or any. How far I have proceeded, or how far further shall, is warranted by a commission from the consistory, yea, the whole consistory of Rome. You charge me that I have blown this coal, I do deny it. The king is present. If it be known to him that I gainsay my deed, how may he wound and worthily my falsehood? Yea, as much as you have done my truth. If he know that I am free of your report, he knows I am not of your wrong. Therefore, in him it lies to cure me, and the cure is to remove these thoughts from you. The which, before his highness shall speak in, I do beseech you, gracious madam, to unthink your speaking, and to say so no more. So he starts out by mansplaining her, that no, she's not being herself, and it, basically he's... He starts this whole thing out like, what, is it your time of the month? Which is Cardinal Wolsey. Um, and then he goes on to say, you know, I'm, I'm fair and just to everybody. And if I, I'm behaving this way in front of the king, who's right exactly here, what would he do to me if I was lying? Therefore, I must be saying true things. So you're the one that needs to check yourself and rethink your position on all of this. Rethink your demands and then we can proceed. And tomorrow we get to hear her rebuttal. Otherwise I would tell you more about what happens in the scene, but no, we get to hear it. We get to hear her exact response tomorrow. So I will see you then for that. Mwah.